I got a spoken book to a user channel. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you want to learn how to get this Joker look, then please keep watching. Can is going to come and help me with the hair part in a little bit, but I'm going to start this tutorial with my hair being like this. To make sure my skin is smooth and primed, I'm going to use the Benefit Professional to create a matte look to my skin before going in with foundation. For foundation, I'm using Makeup Forever Ultra HD in a much lighter shade than my normal skin tone because I did not want to be pale, pale white, but I did want to go for a more pale look. And I'm going to conceal with LA Girl Pro Conceal and also another lighter color. I believe this is light ivory, but I'm going to list all the details down below in case you need to see them. So make sure you check the description bar if you have any questions. And of course, follow me on Instagram. I'm blending this out using a beauty blender and of course bring it down to your neck but depending on what you wear it's up to you. I'm contouring using a much darker shade and it is super warm but this is just my preference. You could do your joker look however you'd want to but this is how I did it for my look. And I'm doing normal contour but definitely much stronger than I typically would because I did want it to be a glam type of Jared Leto Joker. And setting all these creams, I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. Huge fan of this product, by the way. I think it's amazing. To create some type of brow, but obviously much lighter than my normal brow, I just use my Anastasia Brow Palette and a blonder shade, a more ashy blonde shade. I'm priming my lids, and this is Stay Don't Stray eyeshadow primer by Benefit and I'm making sure that it's totally smoothed out and to set the primer I'm using a very pale cream shade from the crease to the brow bone because you know gotta set your eyeshadow primer and this just makes the colors blend much better it's a trick that I started doing to build into the crease this is Max Bamboo and it's a great transition color but basically I wanted the eyes to be kind of deep set maybe a little deep looking something like that so I'm glad that this showed up more on the red reddish tone side this is Anastasia single shadow in dusty rose and I figured it would also be a perfect shade to start deepening the crease and if you see I'm using a blending brush almost one step down from the crease to create the eyes to give the eyes the look of being more deep <laughs> like more tired and more deep which is something you don't normally want to do but I think it came out really good I loved the blending technique here and now I'm making kind of like a angry face so I could see where my brow bone will shoot down to and dragging that color down my nose to create a super defined nose contour adding a shadow to that part of your eye socket definitely makes it look more angry and then in the crease, I loved Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer Palette for this look. So I'm taking that cranberry shimmery shade and adding that to the inner corner crease because it has the perfect type of reddish purple punch in the eye type of look. And I started smoking out my lower lash line, but I'm just going in with black eyeliner to pack into the waterline. I smoked out the lash line a little bit off camera because sometimes I have to get super close. This is a ColourPop gel liner and the color is Swerve and just adding a little bit more black to the lower lash line and then blending that out as well. Keep in mind this is not supposed to be the perfect cosplay Joker, this is Tina Cosmic's Joker. So I um, did it, I did it exactly how I wanted to do it. I'm setting my brows with the same cream shade. I love Anastasia Single Shadow in Blanc. I'll link it down below, but it is amazing. So I'm just setting my brows so they look a little bit more pale. And I thought the lids needed something else. So this is the shade Courtney in the Beauty Killer palette. I have a full review and swatch video on this palette in case you wanted to see that. Taking a pencil brush, I'm just adding a little bit more definition. I know this is scary when you take a black shadow and go right in 
the crease like that but as long as you tap off your brush a lot and go in with a really light hand you could still create definition without messing up your whole eye look and your face makeup and then just taking the same blending brush it's a MAC 217 I'm just blending it out a little bit more to set all my contour I'm using the Japanese face palette love this palette and this is just a deeper brown shade so that way I could just set all my contours with a big fluffy brush now my eyes kind of have a different shape so to even out the shape and make my eyes look more round I took the liner up higher and then just filled it in this is Sephora liquid liner I'll link it down below it's my absolute favorite I use it in every video and of course matching the other eye and I don't think this part has to be perfect and then just based off of the picture of the Joker I just did a couple of little details um, writing damage on my forehead was so difficult I would not do it with liquid liner unless you have the most steadiest hand ever and you could figure it out if you can send me your tutorial because I could not it was so difficult and if you follow me on snapchat and Instagram you know this is my favorite mascara hands down it's the tardiest paint mascara and it's just so good and I've been obsessed with it so I had to use it in this tutorial even though it's a Halloween grungy type of look but oh my god obsessed with this mascara lining my lips using a matte deep red lip liner this one is by NYX I'll link it down below because it's an amazing lip liner it's the first time I used it and I used it for this look and I'm just heavily lining the lips because I wanted them to be extremely red and opaque and using the BH liquid matte lipstick I forgot the color of this one but I'll link it down below also um, this liquid lipstick is actually really inexpensive and I love 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 this color it came out great and just cleaning up the lips because I can get kind of messy she looks good. Looks yeah like on that really looks good already. Cool. it looks good right yes, yes. what about grills I got them Get the fuck out of here. Let I swear. See. They're on my bed. Oh, wow. All right. Uh I wanted to leave that part in because my dad gets so proud. But, of course, I'm adding highlight. And this one is Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. I'll link it down below. I do have a coupon code. So, in case you want your own. Up to you. I hope you liked this tutorial. This was so much fun to do. And, honestly, I had no idea that it was going to come out pretty cool. I think I look like Jared Leto, if you ask me. Uh, let me know what you want to see next because, of course, I need new ideas. Also, if you try this look or wear it out for Halloween, please send me your pictures. Tweet them to me. Tag me in them. Use this hashtag because I would love to see them. It will also give me the permission to repost because maybe I'll post your look on my Instagram accounts. And that's really it for this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe on your way out. Follow me on Instagram. Twitter, and Snapchat, all by Tina K, Pro MUA, spelled the same, and I'll see you next time. Bye!